What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Nike Men's Varsity Compete TR2 Trainer Shoes I picked up using Amazon Prime for $109.99. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. What caught my eye about these sneakers is at first I thought they were boots, like a pair of Merrells, for example, like for just wearing with jeans like during a cold winter month. Now I know it's not cold or during the winter, but uh, you know, we are going into the summer. So a lot of those things left over from last season are going to be on sale. They're going to be available. Uh, there's going to be clearances, but these aren't a pair of boots, like a pair of lightweight boots, like a pair of Merrell shoes, for example. They are trainers for the gym, but they do have this interesting look, like I said, that makes them look like a boot, that makes them so much different from other trainers on the market, and that's the reason why they caught my attention. So, also before we get into the unboxing and first impressions, I did pick these up in a 10 and a half. I can actually get away with wearing a 10 and a half, even a 10, so, Really, I don't expect these to be all that bad. And most of the time on this channel, when I review 11 and a half, 12 size shoes, they tend to be just a little bit too big anyway. So I think a 10 and a half is gonna work out well here. You're going to see what these look like on my feet uh, once we get towards the end of the video after I've pretty much taken these out of the box and gone over all of their features. So be sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. Okay guys, so this shoe actually reminds me of the Nike Livestrong products like back in the early 2000s. That brand I think was sort of a brand of Lance Armstrong, the famous cyclist. Well, as you might remember, all of those products had yellow in it with Livestrong written through it. It could be a combination of white lettering or black lettering. It could have been etched into like a wristband, for example, which were extremely popular when I was a kid. But ever since that brand fell by the wayside, uh, Nike products with little streaks of yellow in them uh, sort of fell by the wayside because that brand itself fell by the wayside and I think took everything sort of downhill with it. But as you can see, I think everything has sort of cleared itself up and buffed itself out because uh, Nike has brought back officially yellow accents to what would otherwise be a pretty bland shoe. Now, I did feel a sense of pride wearing Livestrong Nike items. Uh, even though I never wore them often, I only had maybe one or two items. Uh, I did feel like they were premium. Uh, these do not feel premium. I think a little bit too overpriced. I don't think I would pay $109 for these. Uh, just looking at them, just looking at uh, you get this gray part of the sole to match the upper, but then you can pretty much see where it turns into all mesh here. Again, the styling is so unique here because it's all layered. So you get the mesh at the bottom, you get the paracord or the parachute cord style at the side of the shoe stitched down over the mesh. And then at the very top of the parachute cord, is a Nike logo sort of stamped down over everything. Now, just to show you the inside of the shoe again, you do not get the Nike logo on the inside of the shoe at the center, but you do get it actually at the back of the inside of your heel there. So you can see you get a Nike check on the inside of the shoe there, which I like. Okay, so what I was saying earlier was that the build quality is sort of on par with other less expensive shoes. This is really not the most luxurious shoe. It's really a pretty basic shoe meant to go to the gym. But like I was saying, you know, this shoe does excel above those other shoes because Nike themselves just add a little bit of panache and a little bit of fanfare and a little bit of fun to all their products because they really have been doing this for quite some time. And I think you can actually see that here in this shoe, what's really cool is they've taken some of the verbiage off of their t-shirts, which they're very famous for, and have actually placed it on the back of a shoe here. So, and then it also says Varsity Compete Trainer, training established 1987, and then you get the company motto at the bottom, 
just do it. So different from a running shoe or a basketball shoe or a tennis shoe is the fact that it is a flat sole and that it does have nodules. So it almost actually looks like a golf shoe without the larger cleats on it, but it does in fact have a very flat foot with very minimum flexibility in the front of the shoe. It's lightweight, uh, but it doesn't have peaks or valleys or grooves uh, like a running shoe would, for example, say if you were running through the rain and you needed to uh, gain more traction and push water out off the side of the shoe. Uh, this shoe does not have that capability. This is something you're going to want to wear uh, within a confined space doing jumping jacks and burpees and push-ups and sit-ups and working with exercise balls and doing all kinds of uh, workouts if you're into CrossFit or any other type of training. Maybe you're an athlete, a basketball player, a football player. You know, you're doing high jumps and uh, you're running around a track and it's hot. Uh, those are not things you want to do in a tennis shoe or a basketball shoe. And last but not least, what I actually appreciate about this shoe, and really does actually make me wonder why something like this is $109 and not just $60 or $70, is these laces here. So you can see they're just plain black generic laces. They don't have any yellow in them. They don't even have the Nike logo in them. Just a little bit disappointing. I think they could have at least thrown a yellow Nike check or Nike logo on the tips of the shoelaces. Okay guys, so now that we've done an unboxing and a first impressions and I've taken you around the shoe, I've showed you some of the features of it, some of the design characteristics of it. We still don't know what exactly the shoe fits like. We don't know what it's going to look like with a pair of gym shorts. We don't know what it's like to walk in it. So we're actually going to do that next. We're gonna try this on. One thing I wanna keep in mind here before we get this on our foot is that it is a 10 and a half. Usually I'm an 11 or an 11 and a half and sometimes I buy a size 12, but I think I can get away with a 10 and a half because it's close enough to 11. Uh, and still be comfortable, but it does look a little small. But last but not least, and most importantly is, I do not think this shoe should retail for $109.99. I did get this using Amazon Prime. I think that's pretty much uh, verified because it did come in an Amazon Prime box. It didn't come in a Nike box. It was a, an Amazon box, but why these are $109 is beyond me. I think something like this should go for roughly $59, $69. I do not recommend paying $109 for these, but let's go ahead and get them on the foot and see what it's like to walk in them. Okay guys, so I've actually had the shoe on my foot for a few minutes now. Uh, it's comfortable, but it's not that comfortable. Uh, I think they are just a little bit too small for my foot and that is partly to blame for how uncomfortable they are. But they are just a little bit rigid and let me make that just a little bit uh, easier to digest. Uh, I think if you're someone who maybe uh, has a sensitive heel or if the top of your foot is sensitive when you buy new shoes, these shoes are very stiff and rigid. They are lightweight, they're breathable, and they're bendable and flexible at the front because they are made out of mesh, but they are rigid. Now, uh, because they are just a little bit too small for my foot, uh, the good news, the silver lining here is that I can actually accurately tell you what I feel in the shoe itself. So remember earlier I was talking about the parachute cords on the inside and outside of the shoe. It was sort of like a design thing. Uh, they did a really good job with it. The stitching looks great. Uh, it looks real like they took it from a backpack or something and, and just stitched it and sewed it onto the side of the shoe. Uh, but they are rigid and you can definitely feel them at the side wall of the shoe uh, up against your foot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do just a little bit of walking here. Uh, yes, I can definitely... You can see how hard those nodules are at the bottom of the shoe. Uh, 
they sound pretty loud when you stomp down on the ground with them. And they're pretty sticky. I think you can hear how sticky they are too. Like I said, they kind of just pierce the ground, right? They're almost like a cleat, like a golf shoe. But one thing I can actually say I love about these is because they are rigid and they do have really good form, uh, I think you could actually find these enjoyable to work out and do things in. Uh, they are really supportive. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the Nike Men's Varsity Compete Trainer shoe I picked up using Amazon Prime for $110. Because I picked it up using Amazon Prime, that does make it a convenience good. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions. We talked about a few of the things that I liked about these shoes, as well as a few things that I disliked about them. We talked about the brand. Uh, we talked about what made them unique, I think. Uh, we compared them to sneakers and tennis shoes and basketball shoes as well. Also, please keep in mind that uh, any complaint I had in the video was because these are a half a size too small. And last but not least, do not pay $110 for these shoes. I think you can get them much cheaper. The build quality is fantastic, but the style and the attention to detail is not uh, at $110. I think these shoes should retail really for $59 or $69 respectively. The color is great. I wish I would have gone up a half a size, uh, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I really do like these shoes. I think they look fantastic. Uh, they have unique styling, uh, sort of like a Merrill, but they're not a walking shoe. They're a trainer, not a running shoe or a tennis shoe. Anyways, guys, my name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you liked that video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe hit the bell icon, and also share this video with a friend or a family member and tell them we review items from Target and Best Buy and Dick's Sporting Goods and the Home Depot and Walmart and a myriad of other locations as well, the Apple, everything, we do it all. So without further ado, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.